Hello YouTubers, so here is my review of the UCE Video Converter Analog to Digital Transfer Solution. Right, so I got this off Amazon today, they retail for about £25-£26. Um, now I'm reviewing this for the iMac because that's all I own, I don't own a Windows PC. Now interestingly, on the website it says supports Mac and all the rest of it, and it does indeed. This is how you're seeing this video now, and I have a Mac which is 2018 model which is running Big Sur, so it certainly all works, uh, and all the rest of it. Um, even on the CD here, which is what you get in the packaging, so basically you get a CD, which is irrelevant for the Mac, because yes, it says Mac supporting system, and yes, it does, but there is nothing on this disc whatsoever, apart from the manual, if you want to read it, um, that is on the disc that's actually of use to a Mac user. Um, it's Windows software installation files on there, um, but that being said, Obviously it does work for Mac and the way you do it is how I'm doing it. It is done through QuickTime. Now QuickTime Player is generally been, but certainly it's in Big uh, Sur Mac update. It's been in the operating system on the Mac for as long as I can remember, at least a good sort of three years or so. Um, if you didn't have it on there, you could get it free. You can download it free on the internet, but um, generally speaking, if you've got a later Mac, you, I don't see why you wouldn't have it there. So. Let's move on. Um, so apart from that, you get the CD, as I say, in the box. Um, and then the device itself, which is connected currently, and we are doing a live stream. Oh, it's a bit warm. Uh, so here it is. This is the device. So this is all in one. This is the converter, which is taking that analog signal and converting it to um, digital. And it's going into the back of the Mac, as you can see there, in the USB socket. Sorry, shaking hands. Um, so that is how that's working. In terms of the connection to the camera, it's RCA or Ferno, as I call it. Uh, video is the yellow one, and then you've got left and right sound being white and red if you have a stereo model. I'm recording with a mono camera, so I'm only using one of those. Um, so I've got all three plugged in. Oh, well, in the camera, there's only two. Uh, this is a higher quality connection S video. Now, um, apart from the fact I didn't know where my S video cable at the time is, the reason I'm doing this with the RCA and bothering with the RCA more so than trying to find the S video cable. As most people, for the most part, are buying this generally for their VHS player, which is really why I'm going to be using it. Um, and most S, S, most VHS players, sorry, don't have an S video connection. Now, in terms of would you get this and use this for digital eight footage? Um, no, you'd want to use Firewire with Digital 8 if it's filmed on a Digital 8 unit because Digital 8 is superior to analog and it will look better if you um, upload it in the correct format. Now most people, that being said, do upload their digital 8 footage on YouTube. I've seen it, a lot of people do it, the TV Ferno cable out to something like this. So you are downgrading the digital image to analog to then to you digital on the computer. So it's up to you if you want to do that and that might be your only option if you don't have Firewire on your computer. Um, I've got Apple converters on the back. So for the general, this camera is a high 8 unit. Um, up until today, I've always done my tape, say I filmed it in this one, like the TRV66 Hi8 unit. I would then put the tape into my digital 8 unit, which is here, which is one of the better models. And I say it's a better model, this is the 620. Uh, the reason this is a better unit is because it has the capability of playing the older tapes, Video 8 and Hi8. The later ones and some of the digital 8 ones, you've got to be careful on eBay, and that's where you'll generally find the cheaper ones. Uh, a digital 8 only, so they'd be absolutely no good for playing these Hi8 tapes. So yes, um, if you've got a camera like this and you can use Firewire, now my Mac being a 2018 one doesn't have Firewire natively on the device, but Apple do converters, obviously at a price, that will take the Firewire connection here on this camera. Let's turn this around, so that's the Firewire connection on the camera. That will take that and then after a few adapters, as I say, from Apple that go into the back and then it goes to USB-C. Um, so for that, for the tapes, I'm probably going to stick with using this because it's the, it's the best quality wise. Um, the last upload I did was using this device that I've just bought um, and it was to do a comparison between watching the high footage back captured with this device versus the digital 8 and it, it seemed quite clear, even in the YouTube compressed video, the digital 8 camera did a better job of uploading that to the computer and sort of keeping the image at its best. That being said, 
there is a huge benefit and this is for the VHS player and that's why I'm going to keep it. If you've done, um, this is another thing about this camera, why it's a more expensive model, um, apart from playing the older high eights and video eight tapes, it can take, oh, sorry, it can play, so it can take, sorry, the signal from something like a VHS player into the jack connection that you normally plug into the TVs and it can take that RCA or Therno connection into the camera and then output it via FireWire. As it says here, you've got your DV in, analog is talking about that, that's what it means there on this camera. So this is why these tend to go for sort of 150, 200 pounds and some people put up to 400, but that's mental in my view. But, um, you know, they're expensive, there's less of them around now um, in existence that, you know, they're dying or, you know, not being looked after. So there's not that many about them when they are, they're expensive. So that's that's where we are with that. So, um, yes, what my point was, <laughs> sorry, I'm losing train of thought, is with the VHS player, this is a benefit because if I say you've done any wait, uh, thing using a camera like this, if there's any problems with VHS player, you could be two and a half hours into a three hour video, there could be some dodgy damage part of the VHS tape um, and suddenly it being a digital eight camera it will throw off a drop frame thing will come into the editor onto the computer. Now if you're lucky it will save it at that point and just stop recording and then you can continue. If you're unlucky, which generally I have been, you'll lose bloody all of the stuff you've been recording. So as I say you can be two and a half hours into a three hour cassette, uh, a VHS tape sorry, and it just completely wipes out everything that's been recorded prior to that. This, on the other hand, um, is a less picky unit because it's, I'm guessing it's because it's just analog only. Um, it doesn't care about signal so much. So if I unplug things or what have you, it won't suddenly stop recording on the computer. So um, this can just be left on. Um, I haven't tried a VHS yet with it, as I've only just got it today and I've done the the primary thing which is what I use on my channel which is my old handy cams and stuff um, but I just wanted to point out that's a major benefit and this is why I'll probably be keeping this unit um, to do VHS tapes because yeah as I say you can be recording a lot of footage and suddenly it can throw off any digital is just so fussy if it has any issues you'll get drop frame messages you'll lose footage you get frustrated and want to bloody throw it through the window so it's it is best if you can get something like this, a good quality, but not too much. Now, yes, you can see there is generic ones. There's ones called, um, what they used to call them, Easy Cap, uh, and, you know, or seven pound devices. And let's be honest, seven pounds isn't gonna get you anything good. And that's what happens with them. And they are dog water quality, if that's even a saying, uh, conversion. This is a step up, it's 25, 26 pounds. It's doing quite a good job here. Um, as I say, QuickTime, you just open QuickTime, you click File, New rec new Video Recorder, you select the input, which by default goes to the iMac camera because it's got webcam built in. You select the USB option, uh, and then suddenly you're doing, I can't actually show you it because I'm recording live, it would then show up here, uh, and then I just, uh, you can select the quality, either standard or high, so I'm on high at the moment. So this is just raw, high video, it's going to save it as an MP4 at the end. And then I'm just going to upload it directly to YouTube, not using any software whatsoever. Um, so it doesn't lose anything, it's just as is. And the only loss that might happen is due to YouTube compression. Um, apart from that, another thing I asked on, on uh, Amazon, but nobody answered me, was apart from the Big Sur thing, which yes, it does support it, obviously, because here we are using it. Um, I asked on the Amazon questions about it, does this work in Final Cut? Not as in editing the footage, once this is saved you can drag it into any old video software and generally speaking it's MP4 so it should work in everything and it does. Um, but what I meant in Final Cut was can I open it, Final Cut X, uh, and then select the camera input like you normally would for a device and then it show up. It doesn't, it doesn't see it, so it doesn't show up as any USB. Oh, oh that's annoying. Sorry about this, should I turn the menu off, shouldn't I? <sighs> Completely forgot that was on. Uh, there we go, that'll get rid of it. So, um, yes, it won't show up as a device in Final Cut, so probably not in um, iMovie either. But this is, the, you know, this is just as good. It's it's doing a high quality recording, well as high as it's going to be for uh, an analog USB device. So, yes, this is my review. Hopefully it's been helpful to you guys. It's really sort of gone over what's in the box, which is essentially for a Mac user, a pointless CD, the device itself, which is this, um, the Ferno's at the end of it, 
and the S video, which I would recommend using probably if you've got that device option. Um, some video cameras have it, some don't. It was always the slightly higher alternative to RCA Ferno, but um, not everything has it, and then VHS players don't tend to have it. But if you've got a VHS player with it, of course, use the higher quality. The best is the best. Um, but yeah, it sort of just it highlights everything you really need to know about the device and comparison. So if you're doing it to do these old videos, I mean, already, yes, this is going to be the better way for doing the high tapes, but then we're, we're down to, as I say, cost of these now. You'd be paying £150, £200 for one of these realistically. If you can get it for a good price, you can sometimes pick them up for under 100 Go for it. Uh, they're great um, for capturing in all ways, really, apart from VHS, because VHS will have... You know, it's just because they're long. If you're doing a 10 minute clip on a video camera, it's one thing and it'll, it'll do it perfectly. But VHS, it'll get long also after time as well. Yeah, that's another thing. They can go out of sync the video and I've, I've seen people comment on that. Videos will go out of sync. You'll be t you're watching something and then lip sync is all completely wrong and out of time. So it's, this is where VHS is best. <clears throat> and this is what this, you know, the, the main marketing of this is. It's about VHS. Obviously it mentions high eight and <clears throat> other things, sorry, losing my voice now. Um, so yes, it works. Um, for YouTube, yes, we're on YouTube. Facebook, obviously that's got nothing to do with the software whatsoever, but you can put the videos on Facebook, Windows, Mac. So yeah, it, it lives, it, at least it supports both operating systems and it does say that and it does indeed happen. So the reviews of people going, don't work on Mac. Um, it's here, so it's awkward. Um, so it does work on Mac and it does work on the most up-to-date and I am literally on as of today April the 1st 2021 we're on Big Sur it works so yes uh, it's just connection there was no drivers there was none of that rubbish just plug the bloody thing in the USB in the back and get to work so yeah VHS recommended um, high tapes yes if it, it's gonna work and it's gonna do an alright job but no, it won't be as good as capturing that footage in a, a proper digital eight camera with the ability to play the older tapes. But as I say, the cameras are less and less, they're more and more expensive. So I'm repeating myself a lot, so I'm gonna stop this video here. But hopefully it's been helpful. Speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.